Okay, so we honestly don't even know how to introduce this. Hey, it's me, Master Fija. What's up? Dayman's here. Say hi, Dayman. Howdy ho. This is uh, one of the really good rulers that came out with the uh, Legacy Lost set. So, he's going to take him from here. Go ahead, man. Alright, so this is uh, Lumia, the Faded Rebirth. So, this one was interesting, uh, trying to come up with something to do with it. Um, it's... A lot of the other rulers have obvious things that you play with it, like uh, the Faria has Inheritance, the, uh, the Nine-Tailed Fox has the Chimeras, um, you know, Soul has Ancient Magics. This one is not as straightforward. Um, so, on the ruler side, it has Judgment for three, one white, one red, and colorless. Energized, rather, white or red. Um, and at end of turn, so you have to do it, at end of turn, remove target rested resonator you control from the game and then put it back into its owner's field uh it comes in unrested yeah and you gotta so be it gets the ender battlefield effect again so Damon, Damon, i was in the middle of saying something you were in the middle of saying something but i was in the middle of interrupting you saying something okay and what i'm gonna say is uh, gonna be huge okay huge. it's gonna, gonna be huge it's gonna be huge <laughs> Um, okay, so I actually was using this ruler in the draft that happened for our card shop like two weeks ago for the promo when this first came out, and I use this completely wrong because there's actually a lot of really good cards in the Legacy Lost set from uh, like Light, from White, that uh, gives you 1-1 counters, and unfortunately since her ability on her ruler side is that you have to uh, like kind of blink in and out something that's tapped at the end of each turn. I kept losing my one one counters, <laughs> like a total uh, dink. So I'd yeah. be like, "Hey, put two one one counters with uh, uh, Milliam's new like one drop yeah. chant," and then it'd be like, "Oh, just kidding, lost that." Yeah, no, so, um, I'm kind of steering away from one one counters, especially with the new vampires that came out to just blow them up or steal them or whatever. So this is a, a profile with. So I've done like three different versions of this deck so far, trying to figure out the best method for it. I've done a life gain, I've done a Cthulhu, I've done, this is the, the newest one, Knights. So I think this one has the most potential to, to just deal with things. Um, definitely more efficient. So anyways, so that's the ruler side. The J yep. ruler side is freaking amazing. Oops. <laughs> he hit the thing. It's so, all jiggly. So it has swiftness built in, thank God. Um, it has Imperishable if you remove uh, Nyalitha, it's uh, her familiar. Uh, so uh, Nyalitha, the Crimson Radiance. So if you remove that from the game during the Judgment, which they can't interrupt that actually, it's just a enter the battlefield, it's as it enters you can remove it so they can't even cancel that or anything like that. Yeah, it's not it gains Imperishable for the rest of the game as long as the card remains in the removed area. Uh, when this card attacks, you remove target resonator from the game. Doesn't have to be yours; could be theirs, and bring it back into the owner's field rested. Now I'm thinking that that one um, that one J ruler, the time arsonist guy. Yep. He does he have a card that lets you bring something back from the removed area? Does it have to be your removed area, or it can be any? It's removed um, area? it's what you're thinking of is uh, actually him as a creature. It's a five drop, thousand thousand swiftness. Uh, when it enters you. He lets you play a fire chant from your removed area, it costs three or less for free, and okay. then it goes back into your graveyard. Okay. Um, I, w I actually had that in a in a version of this deck where it was slightly, like I was trying to see if it could work with basically Observer's deck, but um, it I'd rather just play that with the Observer. Yeah. Maybe incorporate one of the new creatures that's, uh, when you play it, it's three drop, a uh, quick cast, and you can bring something out of the game bring it back in i might put that thing in there just to bounce uthers and bounce him to get more effects out of them um but other than that this is the the best version i find so far uh gaining life is nice but um definitely need more power out of it so anyways that's okay. the ruler let's go over the stones then so her signature stones are um awakened magic stone the earth um so if your j ruler isn't lumia um, Faded Rebirth or Saint of the Crimson Lotus. This card enters the battlefield rested unless you pay through in life. We don't have to worry about that. So treat this card as a light and a fire magic stone. Uh, when you do Judgment of a Light Ruler, recover this card. So if you happen to have three of these out and you just tap them to do Judgment, they just untap and you can get extra use out of them, which is really nice. Um, Great. Oh, it's amazing. So 
we have three magic stone of heaven's rift um i was thinking is that what the white black one is called heaven's rift yeah it's pretty badass it i know sounds right? like a metal song i know it's it's, it's <laughs> i love heaven's it rift. i was um so there's three of these and there's three magic stone of scorched bales um christian bales you'd say scorched bales christian bales yes batman uh batman <laughs> um so you know i was tempted to run four of the the white and two of the red or something like that but um i find that this just needs a little bit of tweaking the balances but you know so far it works most of the time actually in a, a bunch of places there uh play tests that we did tonight he kept getting the white black stone on the first turn and it would just screw him because he had nothing to play <laughs> yeah so like usually you want to open with um the percival which is a one drop white which would have been nice but i didn't have it in my hand no so you know chances are sometimes you will miss but that's just a uh, look of the look of the draw so Speaking we have which <laughs> we have four percival the seeker of the holy grail so this deck doesn't really play with any regalia uh, i find that they're kind of boring uh they're just kind of like a a waste dead card of, they're, yeah waste of a card like you they have to do a lot of work to make up for you know not doing anything really so percival looks at the top five cards of the deck and you grab a Knight of the Round Table or Regalia from among them, put them in your hand. Um, I use that all, honestly and mostly to just grab Gawain because you have Rook Eggs in here which can grab Lancelot. So uh, you can banish this card at any time to prevent all damage that will be dealt to target J Ruler or Knight of the Round Table until in a turn. Uh, really handy. And if you happen to bounce it with Lumia's effect, you can get more use out of it. And you're running four of those in there? Yeah, four of those. Uh, there's four. Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. So, uh, tap, banish, or res a Resonator, which you can do in response to somebody trying to destroy one of your guys. You can tap it and get actual use out of the, the dying Resonator, or just tap it to banish a Rook Egg. Uh, draw two cards, then discard a card. If you happen to destroy your Rook Egg, which says, when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, search your main deck for a Fire Resonator, veil it and put it in your hand, then shuffle your main deck. If you do this combination, you do the search for the Rook Egg first, grab the Resonator, put in your hand, then draw two and discard one. Yeah, and um, actually the Rook Egg, as you were telling me, is really useful for this next card. Yeah, so either you use it for Lancelot if you don't, if you already have this in your hand, but if you don't, you need this in your hand if you plan on doing Judgment just to gain that Imperishable. Um, in odd situations, you know, the extra one might be useful for... Uh, dealing some stuff dealing with some things but for the most part it's just a tribute to pitch out of the game so um, this card has limit so um, when you have a limit one when you attack or block with it you remove a limit counter and end of turn if you have no limit counters it returns back to your hand it has an awakening cost for one white an additional cost to the white and red so if you do the re the white when this card ends your field remove target resonator from the game when it leaves the field for a non-field zone put the removed card into the owner's field it comes in unrested uh, if you do the red uh, when this card ends your field you may play a light or fire chant with total cost three or less from your hand without paying its cost at end of turn if there are no limit counters on this card return it to its owner's hand so essentially, it's red. Awakening is kind of like a, a free flame king shout free, without the damage. Or what I would use it for is free um, uh, blood boil or uh, free luminescent bamboo strike because you have Gawain. So we'll get into that in a little bit. So we have the next knight, Gawain, the knight of the sun. Uh, he is a 3-7 um, play four of. Uh, let's see. So other knights of the round table gain plus two plus two. Um, whenever this card attacks or blocks, rest target resonator. Um, so that's actually really handy with. Um, so you can rest one of your own resonators technically if you wanted to bounce it at the end of turn with Lumia's ruler side effect. You could bounce the opponents, or sorry, uh, you can tap the opponents. If your next card wants to swing into it or you know stuff like that uh lancelot 
Oh, really? You're running a Lancelot? I know, right? Oh, wow. Like, what a surprise. Uh, four How have these cards not been rotated yet? <sighs> they're, they're, they're still in set, man. It's, I'm happy for it, too. Um, so, Swiftness 6-6. Six, six. Um, as you choose a card to attack, you must just choose this, you must choose this card if able. So, it needs to be the first thing you attack with. A lot of people forget about that ability, or that, that part of the card. Um, whenever this card attacks, if its attack is a thousand or more, this card deals 700 damage to target resonator. So the Gawain does plus two plus two on other knights, so if you have two of those out, this will deal a thousand. Um, you can pay a red to plump, pump it up by a hundred power until in a turn, but that's kind of unnecessary with this deck. Uh, next card that works with it is Blood of the Makage. It comes from the black starter deck from the recent sets. I got four. Um, so target J slash resonator you control gains plus eight plus eight in precision until end of turn. So that's the, the same as the old target attack. At end of turn, destroy it. So what happens is at end of turn on the ruler side, it says that you have to remove a re target rested resonator from the game and um, bring it back into the field. So if you put this on Lancelot, you swing, it's rested at end of turn. They both happen at the same time, so you choose the order. You choose to remove it from game, bring it back. Suddenly this won't have to make you destroy it. All right, so the next card okay, is uh, all right. Blood Boil. Okay. So similarly to Blood of the Mikage, they both have blood in the name. Um, this does plus eight plus eight until end of turn. The next end of turn, you would destroy the Resonator. But it can also double as just dealing 600 damage to your opponent, mm -hmm. and they cannot gain life until the end of turn. So it's instant. So this one you can catch people off guard by swinging with your Lancelot, and they go, oh, it's just a 6-6, six, six, not going to actually deal damage, not that big a deal. And then they decide not to block, so you instant this, give it the plus, suddenly it's significant damage, and you can zap something on their side of the field. So does it do the 600 and no, buff something? It's, it's either or. Oh, okay. So deal damage to your opponent, blah blah blah, or resonated control gains plus eight plus eight. So typically this would destroy the resonator, but in turn on the ruler side for Lumia, you can remove your resonator from the game and bring it back, so it doesn't actually die. So I have one of these in the deck. I could put it up to two. Um, it's I feel like in the recent uh, meta, I guess you would call it. Uh, there's a, so many creatures this would target. So many. Especially like for uh, that uh, Lila's Petal, uh, Nine Tail Fox, commanders. all the commanders, all, all, all but one. One of them is a nine nine. Yeah. But um, other than that, there's so many things that this could target just to remove and just not have to deal with, and you can bounce it out of the game to get more use out of it. So one is not bad. Two would be nice just to see more often. Um, so it's a three drop target attack. So precision for the new game for the new wording. Uh, when this card enters your field, you may remove target resonator with thousand or more attack from the game. So it says may. So if they don't have something that's a thousand or more and you somehow do when this comes in, like say for later cards or whatever, you don't have to remove them. So that's a nice little thing about it. Uh, next card is um, Fallen Angelic Destroyer Lucifer. So he's an angel slash demon. Sounds like another metal band. Fallen right. Angelic Destroyer. So um, he can be your angel, but he can also be your devil. He is also the nighttime shift manager of uh, Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> so I run three of them in the deck. Um, when this card enters the field, uh, your opponent banishes a resonator. I don't actually have the moon mana, so this whole ability here to you know basically gain life equal to the damage dealt isn't really going to be that big a deal, but, uh, you know, he shall be your angel, and he shall be your demon. It's just, uh... Yeah, and the funny thing is, is that when he's working at Hot Topic, his name is actually Chad, <laughs> but he, he's like, call me Lucifer. <laughs> and he always is shirtless. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Pretty it much. It doesn't matter. Pretty much. He's like, he reminds me of that meme. I can be your angel. I can be your devil. God, every time I see that, I cringe. But then yeah. I have to laugh. I just yeah. have to. Yeah. It's just have to. So anyways, um... So we have Celestial Winged Seraph, it is a 5 drop angel, uh, when this card enters your field, you may search your main deck for an angel resonator with total cost 4 or less, put it into your field, then shuffle your main deck. When this card attacks, you gain 300 life for each angel you control. So there's two of these, 
Um, you could go two, you could go three if you don't want to play the next card in it. Um, so playing that grabs you Lucifer, which is really handy. Uh, drop it in, Lucifer makes them banish. At end of turn you could bounce Lucifer out and make them banish again or do it to the angel and just get another Lucifer. All right, so the next card is Arthur Pendragon, King of the Round Table. So he is a Knight of the Round Table. Um, this card cannot be targeted by darkness or fire uh, spells or abilities, so it can't be targeted by your own rulers uh, removing from the game and bring it back in. Um, resonators your opponent's control must attack this card if able. Um, so you can tap him to give himself, so target resonator gets plus 800 defense until end of turn. You can give it to himself to make him an even 2000. Uh, so everything has to swing into him when he's tapped, which is really nice. Um, Alright, and the last card is Luminous and Bamboo Bullet. So for two, destroy target rested resonator. Uh, we don't actually have Moon in our will, so we can't actually pay the awakening. But moon. just for, uh, yeah, it's Moon will. So uh, so it's just a nice little destroy tool with uh, Gawain. He can attack and rest something, or your ruler can attack, remove something from the game, bring it back rested, and just destroy with that. So it's just nice little addition there and uh yeah so if you enjoy the video we'll have a description in the in the deck profile and we'll the, have a deck we'll list have in the a description description down below we'll have a list of uh what's in the deck and if you think of anything to make it better or or whatever just leave it in the comments below cool we'll see you guys next time peace